out now from new Metro Vancouver's housing stats that show the real estate market going from red hot to ice cold in a big hurry. Penny Davlos joins us. And Penny, sales have plunged and prices are beginning to head in that same direction. It's an unpleasant reality for sellers, but really opens the door for people looking to buy. So whether it's houses, townhomes, or condos, the numbers do not lie. This market has taken a dramatic turn. We've taken it completely down to the studs, raised it up. Six months ago, this 1,700-square-foot, three-bed, three-bath townhouse in Killarney would have sold in a flash with an asking price of $1.3 million. All these light fixtures are new. Uh, the furniture is negotiable. But realtor Dave Hutchinson says it's one of many listings gathering dust. Sellers are having a hard time adjusting to their price points. I did some um, market analysis for a few sellers, and they were a little bit disappointed in what I had to say, but I had to be realistic. New numbers from the real estate board paint a dramatic new picture of the market. Listings are way up and sales are way down since March. That red line tells you houses are in buyer's market territory with condos and townhomes almost there. Does this mean that the bubble has actually burst? People love to talk about the bubble. Um, that's certainly not the message we're sending. Uh, right now what we're seeing is a softening in prices. The real estate board is trying to paint a rosy picture, pointing out buyers have much more selection and the time for property inspections. But as realtors try to get sellers the best price, some are delisting properties and reposting them as new to disguise a drop in price. I don't think it's really being honest with the with the buyer who's looking at a listing that could be down two hundred thousand dollars, but it's being marketed in such a way so that they don't know the price has already dropped. Sure. So I think. In, in a market like Vancouver, there's always different frustrations for buyers. Um, the key thing, I think, is really to work with your realtor. Any realtor can see any history of a listing. Many asking prices are now below assessed value, some by hundreds of thousands. There's more supply coming on the market, so uh, sellers will have to get a little more realistic and, and buyers have more opportunity. So, Penny, we've seen this happening the last few months. What are the factors contributing to this now? Well, realtors are telling me it's everything from higher interest rates to government intervention like the foreign buyer's tax, but they're also pointing out the prices have gotten to the point where local incomes aren't keeping up and people simply aren't willing or able to pay anymore. Thank you, Penny.